Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the, uh, just to clean off uh, the table uh, over here, just so we can use that. Uh, I want to use the table to build, um, we need to build the fixture that we're going to form the leading edge sheeting in. And so I've got some plywood here and um, a template um, that I can use. And I'm going to just figure out some dimensions, where to go, and um, kind of build the, the fixture just so it's slightly just slightly undersized so I make sure the little bit of plywood hangs over each side um, and uh, yeah you, you'll see all that and we'll um we'll kind of get this going and see uh, see what we can do here all right it's been a long time since I built one of these but it's uh, I remember it pretty well so it should be pretty easy all right cool so I'm going to start out on the floor uh, just because I've got to figure out how much how much I have to cut off of this one end here. And so I've got kind of a big piece of plywood. And so it was easier than just lifting the whole plywood up on the table. So I'm going to add the by using my ruler. I'm accounting for the uh, I'm accounting for the spar um, plus a little. So uh, what I'll do is just kind of outline, I'll trace this. And I just left myself a couple inches here, and then I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, I think it was about, about two inches, and I'll just go about two inches on this side. So I'll square up mark there to cut the other side of it. And then all I have to do is just kind of connect the dots here. And then uh, just continue this on to the edge. Just using the same curve, just carry that out to the edge. And then this is actually where the, the rib kind of, the nose part kind of flattens out so I'll just use a ruler to carry that one so all right so there's the basic the basic shape and then I'm gonna add about about four inches to the bottom of that. So, I know where I'm at here. About here. About four inches. All right, so that's my basic layout. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is, uh, beyond that, I need to make four of those. So, uh, so I'm gonna take that square and I'm gonna make four of those. And then I'm gonna actually screw all four of those together and I'm then I'm gonna use that to uh, cut on the bandsaw. And then I know that they're all four gonna be the same. And uh, then we'll make, uh, we'll make a couple sides and we'll uh, put the whole fixture together. So, all right. Cool, I'll, uh, I'll get set up here for the next part.
right, I think we're going to go to the table saw, cut the rest of these squares, because that way I know I can get them square. All right. All right, so now I'm going to grab some. Uh, I'm going to grab some drywall screws and uh, screw the four of these together, and then we'll go to the bandsaw and we'll cut this out. All right, it's going good so far. Got kind of an old blade on there. I sure hope it makes it all the way through it. I probably shouldn't have even said that. I'm more than likely I jinxed it, and I'll be hunting for a blade tomorrow. But um, we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm having a thought here, uh, as you probably noticed by now. Um, I actually believe I need to offset this line a sixteenth of an inch because I, by just using the template of a nose rib, I'm not accounting for. I'm not actually accounting for the thickness of the sheeting itself. So I'm going to actually come in here and uh, draw this line a sixteenth of an inch further out, um, and then. Uh, and then I'll be ready to cut it.
gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna work out uh, gonna work out exactly where the plywood is gonna end when it's put in here. Um, so I'm just realigning this and accounting for my sixteenth of an inch and uh, getting kind of a square line. And I'm gonna start with that line. square here. Alright, that looks good. Just gonna transfer that out here. What I'm trying to accomplish is I want to be able to mark I want to be able to mark my my vertical lines where the sheeting is gonna end. Once it's put in the form, I want to know exactly where it's gonna end so that I can align it in the jig but now that I have it all screwed together that's the best time to make those marks so um, so this is the nose rib plus the 16th and the uh, sheet size is 17 inches so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take my line here, my line over here I'm gonna find 17 inches from my knot. Uh, which, uh, and actually, uh, all right, I've got that marked, but I think before I do that, I'm just gonna check the plans, and because uh, I remember seeing on there that it looks like that the plywood actually ends about three-eighths of an inch before the back of the main spar, so uh, I want to see that. So that's on this rib drawing. And it says, leading edge skin starts here. So it says it starts 3 8 of an inch from the back edge of the spar. So, all right, so we can work this out. So the spar is 3 quarter. And we have a sixteenth of an inch to account for the uh, spar web, which is actually on the front side. So three quarter, actually, would be spar web and then spar, but it doesn't matter as long as I get uh, thirteen sixteenths. I'll be good. So we'll come over here and get uh, thirteen sixteenths. And then we're actually going to we'll start with that line. Uh, this is probably really confusing to you, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not so crazy. It seems organized in my head, and I uh, hope it is in yours. Uh, and then, if it starts three eighths of an inch. Bar web three eighths of an inch back. Now I just have to go back three eighths of an inch. From there. It's saying that on the top, the top spar, that this is where this is where my plywood starts. So what I'm curious about is where does my 17 inches end up when I get over here? I am 
throwing things. All right, so. So if I start there and I come around, So if I start three eighths of an inch there, away from the back of the main spar, I basically end up all the way back flush with the uh, I end up uh, flush with the back of the spar at the bottom. It covers the entire spar. There's no mention of. Uh, what happens at the bottom and in the uh, materials list it only says that 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 material is actually uh, 17 inches so I feel like where the plywood that goes between the root rib and the number one rib and the root rib and the no and the tip rib or I mean the uh, tip rib and the number 10 rib um, there should be a little bit of spar for that plywood to catch on the back side here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the difference. So I'm going to go 3 16 on both. Just because that's that's what I feel like doing. So, so I'm going to go 3 16 from the back edge of the spar here. And if I've calculated correctly, with a 17 inch piece of wood, I should end up 3 16 of an inch at the back edge, to, off of the back edge of the uh, other spar. So the, the bottom spar, bottom spar cap. I'll get it right eventually. Here. Um, All right, so that works out. So I'm gonna use a 17 inch piece and I'm gonna start it 3 16 of an inch off the back of the spar. And I'll start it at the top here. And then this is where I end up on the bottom. All right, what was all that about? All that was about creating this line and this line while these are still together, so. Now, what 
that does for me later is it allows me when I when I put my plywood in here and get it all clamped in place, it gives me a, a line across these four where I can make sure everything is lined up and square. So that's what all that was about. Um, but now I'm confident this is 17 inches with a 16th of an inch piece. Uh, gets me from here to here. And even if it's close, at least I have one line to start with. If it's the, if it's the uh, top of the rib, I start here. And then I know I'm gonna be square when I finish over here. So it doesn't really matter. But, Good news is, we got that far. All right, on to the next part. All right, so we'll get these apart. We'll get these out of the way. We're gonna number these. Number one, number two, number three, number four. And that's the order in which we'll assemble them. All right, so the next thing is to get a couple side pieces made and all we have to do is uh, basically make two pieces that are about 11 and a half inches wide. And let me take you over and show you this part. Uh, so that 11 and a half inches wide, we'll cut one for each side. And uh, that, that gets uh, everything we need to kind of assemble that. Then I have uh, basically on the wing itself, I have three different distances. So I'm measuring from the Measuring from the outside um, of uh, this one to the uh, center of this one. Whoops, how about that? To the center of this one, that gives me 47 and a half. Um, and I measure, when you're measuring in between, a really good tip is if you just hook to the outside and then measure to the inside. This one's, this one is uh, 45, so that's can see if I move it over that center to center would be 45 inches and then same thing here if I hook that one on the outside and measure to the inside over here it's 46 and a half so 45 inches is actually my uh, shortest distance so I want to be slightly inside that distance so I'm gonna go for about uh, 44 and a half inches and by doing 44 and a half when I put the plywood in the form what I didn't want to happen was uh, uh, I don't want the plywood to have to sit on one of these I don't I don't want it to actually have to end up splitting this difference I wanted to if anything to just hang over a little bit so by doing a 44 and a half that means all the rest of them uh, the other one what was the longest distance? 40, 47 and a half. So it hangs over an inch and a half on each side, um, which should not be, should not be any big deal. So um, more than enough material inside the form that that inch and a half will not be a problem. So, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure off and cut, uh, cut two more pieces at uh, 40, 44 and a half inches. Let's measure one more time just to be sure. This was my shortest distance, which I believe was 45. 45, okay. So yeah, 44 and a half works. So, all right, I'm gonna cut two pieces that are this 11 and a half by 44 and a half and then we can keep building <laughs> sorry all right cool
All right, so I went looking to see, I thought for certain I had some wood glue, because I'm just gonna use a brad nailer and some wood glue to put this together. Um, but I'll just show you kind of where we're headed here. And then I'll have to, uh, I'll have to assemble this the next time. But uh, basically what we're doing is, These pieces will come in here like this. And there'll be one at uh, each of these intervals here. And of course we'll put them in order. It's basically like that. And then we uh, put the other side on. But I want to use some uh, I want to use some wood glue, and I want to brad nail it together so it's nice and strong. And uh, since I have to get that, we will uh, we will work on that the next time. All right, cool. So thanks so much for checking out the video today. It's just another step in the process and uh, it's nice that you're following along. Um, I hope you uh, can uh, pick up a few things along the way. And as always, I'll catch you later.